Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Classes. In this video, we are going to discuss the pH metric and potentiometric titration of weak acid versus strong base. So the weak acid which we have taken here is the acetic acid and the strong base which I have taken here is the NaOH. Right, so I'm just going to show you the lab activity and before that I'll just tell you how to prepare the solutions for this pH metric or potentiometric titration. Right, so First, I prepare the NUH solution and uh, acetic acid solutions and that I have strand rise. And the detailed procedure of this experiment is given in the oxalic acid versus NUH volumetric titration video. Link of that video I will provide in the description box. So oxalic acid I have prepared 0.1 normal by dissolving 0.63 grams in 100 ml to prepare 0.1 molar primary standard of oxalic acid. And with this oxalic acid, I have titrated NOH and I have the burette readings for this NOH are as such here. You can see, right? So these are the burette readings. So on subtracting final to initial, I will get 11.5 ml consumed of this NaOH against 10 ml of oxalic acid which I have taken in the conical flask. So you can see that video for this standardization right. So on solving this I will just get the normality of NaOH. So the normality of NaOH is this much. Now with the help of this NaOH I have titrated the 10 ml of acetic acid solution. So in that case I am having the burette reading initial to final. So I just subtract final to initial reading and I will get 8.7 ml consumed against 10 ml of acetic acid. So here I will just put all these values in this normality equation and I will get the normality of acetic acid in the normality is 0 0.075 normal right. Now I am just putting my electrode in the pH buffer solution 4 just to check the calibration and now I wash it thoroughly with the help of distilled water and I keep this electrode in the 30 ml acetic acid solution and now I will get the reading 3.13 for this 30 ml of acetic acid and here is the initial reading. So this is my pH and this is the potential reading. Now I will get add 1 ml of NaOH solution and I will check the pH reading. So here you just see 3.49 reading on adding 1 ml of acetic acid. And similarly, I will just adding the NaOH solution from the help of this burette to this beaker. And I will record the pH as well as potential readings for the solution. So initially you see the reading increases. Here is the reading which is NOH is equal to 5 ml. So at 5 on adding 5 ml I will get 3.78 and here is the potential value which is in positive. Right. On further adding we are just recording our pH values as well as potential values. Similarly, here is the pH value which is 4.02 every time. So here it is the value of 8 and on 8 we are getting 4 point something for pH. So on adding you need to shake your reaction mixture right so here is the reading volume 10 and now on i'll just going to add 0 0.5 ml every time right rather than adding 1 ml of NaOH and now i'll shake it and i'll record the pH as well as potential readings simultaneously so that is why we call it pH metric or potentiometric titration Here are the readings. You 
3 it is 12.5 so at 12.5 we are having value 5 so after that we are adding the solution and on 18 ml of volume we will get only 5.20 right and here we are going to achieve our inflation point and you just see this is the reading of potential and uh, here is the pH unit 8.69 right and here you can see the volume which I have added to this 8 so it is 23 ml of NaOH I have added. So now on, uh, since we have achieved 10 pH, so now on we are adding 1 ml rather than adding 0.5 ml. So here you can see the negative value of the potential and 11.414 is the pH, right? So every time now I am adding 1 ml and here is the final reading of 27 ml I have added. So now you can see the readings which I have recorded and now we are going to plot the graph. So here we are having the values of volume pH and pH delta pH I have calculated here. So I told you there how to calculate delta pH and how to calculate this volume delta volume and delta pH is divided by delta volume is here. So in volume and versus pH, I have drawn a graph and that graph is like this, right? So here is the graph. So in this graph, initially you can see uh, reading increases significantly, but after some time you see that it is increases gradually and very slowly. And after some time we are having a sharp increase here. Fine. So this is the graph which we get pH versus NaOH. Now about the derivative graph. So derivative graph is here. This is in between delta pH versus delta V versus volume of NaOH. Sometimes we can draw this against V average. So that is I have drawn it with volume of NaOH. So you just see this and I am having a peak over here. So here at this moment the value of this 22 ml of the volume and here is the pH is 6.16 right the second point is here I'll just draw the graph between the potential versus volume of NaOH this is the graph this is between negative and positive so here is the mean axis and here you can see the potential so this type of graph we are having here and its derivative just to have the inflection point so this is the inflection point from the derivative graph and here i'll just show you the value how much value is there 22 at the same point we are getting this inflation point right so from here the equivalence point at 22 ml at 22 ml the value is this much this is actually not the correct answer 6.77 so if i add 22.1 then I may get somewhere value somewhere between this and this right this is the equivalence point and here is the pH value so whatever it is so equivalence point is 20 at 22 so 22 ml is added so here is the equivalence point somewhere here and the volume is 22 ml which I have written over there and volume we get now we are going to calculate and results so equivalence point for this is equal to 22 ml right from this graph so we are just putting the values in the normality equation so normality is equal to 30 ml which we have taken 30 ml normality of NaOH and volume consumed is this much so normality we get is this much so normality into equivalent weight so equivalent weight of acetic acid is 60 gram per gram equivalent so on multiplying these two we will get 3.828 grams per liter of the acetic acid so this is how one can determine the strength of the acid by 